In this video, we'll demonstrate how to build a model based on the DWG reference. And to do so, I will make use of the architecture toolbox from the default working mode from the architecture discipline or building discipline. The first step is the definition of the external envelope of the building. To do so, we activate the function define area. So I will start from the low left corner, left click in the snap, and to have straight uh, angles, I will activate the ortho mode in the bottom left, uh, using uh, in the bottom left of the user interface. This function use ortho mode can also be activated or deactivated with the short key F9. So I will just contour this geometry. And when it remains two lines, I can use this option, close contour with perpendicular corner, or press the E key. Then DDSCAD opens the floor product database. We just select one floor, press OK. The same for ceiling, press OK. And the room dialog opens automatically. We see here all the numbers of the exterior walls, floor and ceiling. These numbers are available in the model as well. And here we can change the height of the building. In this case, the, the, the default value is 2.5 meters and I will change to 3.2 and press OK. Now, the second step is the definition of the rooms. To do so, we use the function define rooms. The easiest way to define a room is it to make a diagonal line so I will deactivate the ortho mode and I will make this diagonal line with the inner corners and I will press enter. So the room dialog opens again, but now we have a description as general and a room number as 001. We also get the height that we have defined for, uh, for the building envelope, 3.2. If you want to have a different height for this, for the zoom, you can change the height here. In this case, I will set everything as default and I will click OK and define the next room. As you can see, I will again make a diagonal line of the inner corners. So the thickness of the wall is defined automatically. And again, press enter and OK. But when we work with DWG as external reference, we have an even easier way to define the rooms. We can right mouse click and we, select, we can select the option recognize room from DWG objects. With this option active, I will just right mouse click to show what DDSCAD can recognize. It can recognize the room inner outline the doors, doors uh, geometry when it's an arc. The, it also recognizes windows geometry, room ID or room number, and room description. So let's see how it works. When I'm um, inside the room, as you can see, it's highlighted a, a gray, uh, in gray, and it also highlights the room number, the, the product description, the arc of the door. And when I left click, it defines everything. Okay. Let's do it again here. And also here. Now let's do it for the, for the windows geometry. You will see it will be highlighted in red. So you just have to left click. In the rooms that I already defined the, the inner contour, but I didn't define the description or the, the, the door, I can also make it. So I will move to the room description and room number and also to the arc of the door.
when the geometry is too complex it's not rectangular it's not so easy to recognize we can press escape and start the define rooms function again by right mouse click DDSCAD recognizes the last used function so that's why I can see here in the top of the context menu the define room so I'll left click this option and what I will do to define this room I will just contour as I did with the external envelope When there is just one room remaining, we can move our cursor inside this room and right mouse click to use the option Auto Generate Last Room. Okay? Now I will activate the Recognize Room from the WG Objects just to, ins to, to insert the product number and room description for the remaining rooms. Okay, I will press escape. Now let's see the result in 3D. So this is the wireframe representation. Let's change to render shader cartoon. Okay, there is still remaining a passage door here, a garage door, and there are another type of window or window facade in these two window in, in these two walls. So I will come back to 2D. Now we insert the remaining doors as the passage door and the garage door. To do so, I will activate the door function. In the three dots button, we access the product database. The garage door belongs to, to the filter doors, exterior, wood, plastic garage door it's already selected so I'll click OK and we will have the option get with the from model active because this way I move my my cursor to the beginning of the symbol and you can see that also the position of the of the cursor will move uh, will insert to the, uh, the the symbol direction so left click at the beginning and move at the end and it's done and the same here I'll first insert this garage door here and now I can press escape, double click this object, come to the product database, access the filter interior, wood, plastic, and select the object, interior door, passage. Click OK, click OK. All right. Now to end this modeling, let's insert window facades here. To do so, I'll activate the window function. Now I will come to the product database of, of windows from the filter windows, no roller, single, I will select the product window wall room height segments. Click OK. Now I will change the height and seal height. The seal height will be set to zero and the height 2.8. Okay. Now I will click OK. I still have the option get with the from model active because with this option I can just move here my cursor at the beginning and then at the end of the of the symbol the same here click at the beginning and click at the end and it's done press escape to close the function and let's see the end result <laughs> 